I am going to tell you about my experience. I have 20 years, more than 20 years experience that I've been working with laser technologies. Did you already start? You started already? Okay, I will introduce this. I've been working on medical technologies for more than 20 years. I'm a plastic surgeon, but I've done well in non-invasive uh, procedures. I would love for you to do the same as, uh, as well as us. Learn from us. You don't need all the devices that we have. You have to learn about one, study why you have to purchase it, how to use it, and exploit it as much as you can. So the most important country is better to be a point of reference in one technology and not in four or five, and you will see why. So my talk today is about the use of... Uh, Pico Segundo, and you will see why. I don't have any disclaimers. I'm not being paid for this, but I am a promoter of the company. I will not mention, I will mention technology, but no brands. Uh, we do have all sudden effects. Life changes us. So today I'm young. I feel very energetic, and it's really great. I feel in, and then you get a tattoo, and a couple of months later or years later, I regret it, and then I have to look for somebody to do it. Here in Latin America, you have great experiences in the first documentation of tattoos that in the Pachacamac Museum in Lima. If you visit it, it's part of the Huaric culture that was prior to the Inca culture. And why is this important? In just one year, you don't actually follow statistics much in South America, but you have seen that there's been a 40% increase in the period or the percentage of tattoos. It's a huge number of current and future patients. But we estimate that in 2015, that's a long time ago, there was 45 million North American people tattooed, and 20% of them regret it, and they need to look for somebody to improve it or to eliminate it. So look at the potential that we have in our hands. There are different reasons. There are visible areas. People get bored, or when they want to join the army or the police, in my country, for example, they cannot have tattoos in visible areas. Arms, legs, neck area, we have to eliminate them. Or tattoos with high meaning if they belong to a band or a group before, now they don't anymore. And that's a marginal reason for them to want to eliminate it. Sometimes you do want the tattoo, you like it, but because of the uh, intensity of tattoo, you need to help the tattoo to lower the intensity. And we will also talk about this. So when they get bored because they are in a visible area, the Aller allergy to this red pigment based on mercury, this is quite terrible. And some people even want to go through surgery, but fortunately we're here to help them. And we also grow old and tattoos don't have the same meaning as before. There are some tattoos of uh, great significance, for example, the body, the blood group. And, or for example, I have a pichulin, you all know how, what this means in uh, Spanish. Fortunately, he regretted it and he sought me to eliminate it. So we can see 1,064 patients treated this year. And they are just in the picosecond stage, 644. And in the nano period, which is a proliferous stage, they had 644. This gives us a range of more than 6,000 treatments carried out. So according to my own survey I, want, survey, I want to tell you that most patients regret this within the first 10 years. And of this 70%, 20 of them within the first year. Look at the relevance of this. For example, people who tell me 24 hours after getting their tattoos, they're desperate for them, for me to help them to re get their tattoos removed. This is the classical reaction to the red pigment because this is mercury based. And mercury causes horrible effects, uh, itching, swelling, scars, for example. Fortunately, I know many plastic surgeons and this was a colleague from Sao Paulo that was asking what was the best uh, uh, treatment for this patient. There was free, free flap. And fortunately, I told him to stop. I asked him to look for a referent in picosecond from origin and to solve this. And we were able to save the leg from this girl. This was the patient that came to me. And we see the uh, inflammatory process. And for many years, we were able to remove the red tones. And we were able to solve the aesthetics problems that she had. Also, on the 
the face and the neck because this is where we have the lymph nodes closer and then the, the pigment will re be removed easier and also the skin is thinner. These are also areas that are more complicated like the shoulders, like the back, the ganglia or when the skin is too thick. So we have some tattoos that are easy to eliminate in red and black when they're superficial, when they're just um, a couple of millimeters below the surface, when the density of the skin is not good, and also amateur tattoos are very easy to remove, and also when the tattoos are too old, when part of the body has already eliminated that pigment. The hardest thing is to deal with green and blue, light colors. We do need a specific uh, process for that, otherwise we could be affecting the patient. When the pigment is too deep or it's lower than two milliliters of density, it's worse for us because it's more complicated. Maybe there are some heavy metals in there and they haven't been eliminated and when they are too deep or too old as well. So what do we use this on? As I told you, this is a fast process, but we are talking about one trillion times faster than this. It's unimaginable and I will see. we will see why. We are going to give you an example of comparison between nano and pico in the speed of action. So look at the action to the, the image to the left, how we break with this size of needle. And if I multiply it by 1,000, this is what I achieve. It's 1,000 greater. It's 1,000 greater, a bit more. And it's easier to eliminate, and the lesions are shorter. So as I told you before, both in nano and picoseconds, these are indicated for the treatment of tattoos. But it's better to have the lower thermal trans transfer so that we can have the lower amount of scars in comparison to the past. So the Pac-Man phenomenon, okay? We do find it. It's based on the ink. From the moment people get a tattoo, this is known as a foreign element. But these are macromolecules. So they want to be digested and they can't. This Pac-Man can't digest everything. So what do we do? We put laser, we uh, filter it down, they become into micro fragments and we were able to remove them. It goes through the node and if it's at there at the lymph node, part of it will be uh remaining there and part will be drained. All micro lasers are the same? No. It took me one year in my life. I even traveled to a very far place in the Far East to make sure what was the type of laser that I was going to purchase. Instead of having 8 watts in uh, power, I would have variability in spot size and the strength or the energy. And what do we take? If I, if you get offered a gun or a machine gun, and of course, you will choose the machine gun because it'll protect you better. But of course, we need to look for the proper machine for this. It's important to look at the wavelength so that we can make sure that all uh, colors of the rainbow are covered. And what is this useful for? For this type of tattoos, this is a personal friend whom I convinced to get his tattoo removed. And therefore, I used three wavelengths to apply it to this variety of colors. So the greater power that I have and greater versatility, the more I will break out. And therefore, I facilitate the work of the macrophage so that we can digest this. So the idea is to help our body to drain it faster or easier. In terms of precision, this was the girl that wanted to eliminate the ghost area around it, for example, and I used one or two milliliters to respect the tattoo and eliminate the surrounding areas. Or this patient here who, who played in a concert in an important theater in Argentina, she created her own symphony, but the tattooer actually tattooed the wrong notes on it, so it's horrible, and the girl could not have this on her body. So she asked me to remove the notes that we're wrong. So now let's look at this. How does this work? S sorry, I have to. Okay, great. Thank you. And in these tattoos, we have. Uh, we probably need eight sessions, and in smaller tattoos, maybe four. And does it hurt? Yes. I mean, I asked them, does it hurt to get the tattoo? Yes. And it also hurts to get the tattoo removed. So sometimes we used to need topical creams to help them with that. And we need to choose 
depending on the color of the patient. And we have endpoints through frosting, for example, or redness. We can see the frosting. We cover it with va uh, Vaseline, and it'll help us. So these are the results. We have to know that the best results that we can obtain take time. Whoever goes into tattoo needs wonderful patients because the results cannot be seen immediately. We do have a sequence so that you can see one, two, three, four, how the patient improves session after session. This is a nose. She had had an accident and she got a tattoo with the pigment of the pavement. And this is an area where the patient had gotten a tattoo. And instead of getting this capital treatment, he regretted it. And also the dermal pigmentation that you see. So girls, you have to be careful because it's based on iron. And It'll be in a different state, and then you might want to eliminate it, but it takes uh, time, and it's complicated to eliminate it, but we can help you. This is the tattoo that I told you about. For example, his uh, or previous partner had her tattoo, get, her, get this tattoo, and she also had the acronyms of the name of the former partner, for example. So this is horrible. If you have a couple, please don't get their names tattooed because you will regret it soon. <laughs> so here we have the forearm and we see total elimination. This is also a barcode on the neck, total elimination, a forearm, and this is what she had, total elimination. So we have to see, we have to mark each session, right? This is after eight sessions. And I want to say that any good results for this, we could have a hidden enemy, which is the PIH, and we need to prevent it. So you can see how I was a effective in this process and with this patient, but I still have to keep hope and wait for a couple of months so it gets removed by itself. I just need to wait and wait. So this is also a total elimination and I need to wait for a bit more months so that I can take the excellent photo for my presentations. Or this is also a patient that I treated. This was a green color. I could not treat it completely at the first time. Then I got the patient back and I was able to provide more treatments and wait for the phantom ghost to appear, so to say. And this is a tattoo I would have never accepted to treat this, but now I'm actually taking the patient and I want to see how much of the original colors remain. But with the green colors, I was actually very effective in eliminating them. So the most important thing is to have the capacity of creating and controlling the situation of the patient. In this patient, it had disappeared, the tattoo, and two years later, it had removed. But in reality, he had this tattoo. And if I wouldn't have had the opportunity to see this patient again, I wouldn't have been able to take this patient. Or also in the back as well, look at this horrible tattoo. Or on the dorsal area or the tar torso, for example, you can see we actually he had a, an aircraft tattooed here, and we were able to make the aircraft fly away. So as I told you, if you want to accept these type of patients with these type of tattoos, I'm sorry, but you do need a lot of wavelength, and you need to do it uh, properly. These are all my patients, and I actually stopped the treatments, and currently I tell my assistants to recover them so that we can eliminate, eliminate them with picosecond. As I told you, this is the P. We need to have a lot of patients. I have nothing else to do. Or when I do a tattoo that is circular, I create this edema, and the patients, they get scared, and I just need to tell them to raise their hands, to wait around, and then in a week's time, it'll be solved. We have to be careful in tattooing white tattoos because it's titanium-based, because then it's horrible to eliminate them. You just try to avoid these patients and send them to your enemy. So in conclusion, I'm actually very happy in making this investment. You know that these investments are expensive. I was able to pay it off already, and I have covered it with 40% of my sessions, and my patients, they also bring their all other tattooed friends, and it's very important because it strikes in hard. It has a peak that is gigantic. It works with more pigments. It's important to have several wavelengths so that we can not go around one tattoo. I accept all kinds of tattoos, all colors, even though some colors are harder to eliminate them, but you have to study your population. One of every eight patients that are here has a tattoo, and 20 to 25 percent is going to regret having that tattoo. Therefore, they are going to look for someone to eliminate it. Thank you.